unlocking the rhythms, understanding, playing staccato. Hello, everyone. In today's lesson, we'll dive into the captivating world of music and language. We're focusing on a term that's music to the ears of many but might be a bit perplexing for English language learners, playing staccato. By the end of this video, you'll not only grasp what it means but also understand its usage and significance in both music and everyday English. When musicians talk about playing staccato, they are referring to a style where notes are played in a short, detached manner. Imagine hearing the ticking of a clock or the pitter-patter of raindrops. Each sound is distinct and separate from the others. That's the essence of staccato in music. It's not just about playing notes quickly. It's about making each note crisp and concise, allowing spaces of silence in between. The term staccato comes from the Italian word staccare, meaning to detach. It's a universal term used in music sheets and conversations among musicians across the globe. But, it's not just limited to the realm of music. In everyday English, you might hear someone say a person's speech was staccato to describe how they spoke in a clipped, abrupt manner, much like the musical technique. To identify staccato in music, Listen for notes that seem to leap off the page. They're sharp, precise, and give a piece of music its lively, energetic feel. Visually, staccato notes are marked by small dots above or below the notes on the sheet music. This notation is like a secret code among musicians, instantly telling them how to articulate each note. Playing staccato isn't just a technical skill, it's a form of musical expression. Composers use staccato to convey feelings of excitement, urgency, or playfulness. On the other hand, a series of staccato notes can create tension, suggesting a sense of hesitancy or suspense. It's fascinating how a simple change in playing technique can drastically alter the mood of a piece. Just like in music, the way we talk can also be staccato. When someone speaks in short, disconnected sentences, they might be excited, nervous, or trying to emphasize their points. Understanding this parallel helps English language learners not only in interpreting music but also in grasping the nuances of spoken English. Today, we uncovered the layers behind the phrase, playing staccato. From its rhythmic presence in music to its metaphorical use in daily conversation, staccato is a fine example of how artistic expressions can enrich our understanding of language. I hope you found this exploration both enlightening and enjoyable. Keep listening and learning, and you'll find that language and music have more in common than meets the ear.